Hi, hello and welcome. No, it's me. Just thought I'd let you know that uh, it's now approaching Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas actually, it's just the end of August, beginning of September. And I've been asked to if I can make a whirly gig for, with a Christmas theme. So I thought, well, to start with, we'd do a snowman. And people have say to me, well, how do you how do you start? Well, basically you start with a piece of paper and a pencil and you draw a snowman. Uh, but you've got to realise that snowman's got to be easy to make into a whirly gig. Well, so I thought, what do we start with? With most snowmen, they have a, a body. So, as you can see, I've got some tape here. So what we're going to do is put a, a circle round like that. Uh, being, being the body of the snowman. And to, to make it sort of fit on the... Uh, onto the base of the whirly gig. I might probably sort of put a bit, a bit of snow down there and a bit of, of snow down there, something like that. Uh, and then obviously here being this, the snow, so I presume this, we can draw the snow across like that because here being the snow. Then uh, we call that his lower body. Now we've got to, what I'm thinking of doing is making another circle here and uh, something like that. Now I've got to overlap it because I'm thinking of making it that would be the action of the snowman sort of going to and throw. So we'll call this, so we'll put another circle in there like that. Okay, so uh, and get rid of that little bit in there. Now the, this would be the the pivot point here, which hopefully would be on his 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 his, his, his buttons. So that's where we we'll put the uh, the screw in, and then he will pivot. Then most snowmen they seem to make them with wooden arms or branches sticking out. So I thought, well, that be that would be ideal for. Uh, for connecting the uh, the rod on to make it go up and down, you see, so we could fix onto there, and then that would go down to the, and that would make this part of the snowman move. And we put another sort of arm that side like that. As you can see, I'm not the greatest drawer in the world, but uh, another branch there like that. These are all very odd. Then what I tend, tend to do is I will cut this out in cardboard to see how it works. We've now got to put a, a sort of a, a head on him. So uh, something like that I would think, a head. And he normally has a hat of some description. So we can put a, a hat on him like that at an angle slightly because it's got to be thick because of, of the wood and so we can put a put a hat on there and of course he would have a couple of eyes and a, a nose which we 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 can paint on uh now he normally has a scarf so could i sort of do a because obviously this would be painted on but i could sort of have the scarf come out like that so it looks like it's blowing in the wind couldn't i and we could paint the 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 scarf on something like this. Uh, and let me have to have a bigger flap like that. That would be his head there. Yeah, so I I I, I think we've got the workings of a snowman here. Uh, that's that's all we need, isn't it? I don't think we need anything else. In fact, we put another button there. Uh, yeah. Uh, Make those go round a bit so we can give a little bit of support to the to the arms that we're going to put out. So what I'm going to do now is actually just cut this out uh, with the scissors uh, just to see what it looks like and then it's a, it's a case of just trying to cut it out in wood just to see if it's going to work but that's basically is how all the uh, whirly gigs I make that's how I, I, I seem to start is just with a with a free drawing and go from that. Uh, right, we're going to cut it out, be back in a minute. Right, we're back into the workshop. 
So, uh, for those people that don't know what we're doing, we're building a snowman. This is the uh, snowman whirly gig. This is the snowman we're going to build on a piece of wood. Right, so this is the base piece of wood. Now, the base piece of wood has to be thick, and this is uh, part of an old shelf, as you can see. And what we're going to do is is cut that piece out of uh, out of there, and then the bit that wobbles will come off the uh, the thinner piece of plywood, which is there. So we're just going to uh, mark those out, like this. So can we get it? Uh, is that uh, bit straight enough? No, not really. So we do it. We do it there. Uh, I don't know if you can see. This is a, I think this is a shelf out of an old wardrobe. So we're going to 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 draw around there like that, round the circle, uh, and through there. We won't do the bottom bit yet. So that's the first bit, and then we have our our second bit. Can we get him in like that? I think we can do, don't you? Yes, that's that's perfect. So we're just draw draw around there. It's only very rough because it it, it comes out on the. Uh, I will either use the uh, band saw for the big cuts, and then I've got a uh, is it a, a fret saw to do the little cuts. So. Uh, we can do those with that, so which is roughly, yeah, nothing's precise, it's not engineering, it's not a space shuttle or anything which has to be done accurately. And of course you can always adjust it as you go along. But, uh, and we just keep drawing it around like that, I know it's just boring, but there you go. Some people find it very interesting. And again, we've got a branch there. Branch there, branch there, branch there. And on there. And hopefully that is that is the snowman. As you can see that that that'll be the uh, the scarf. So we just want uh, the scarf out a little bit like that. So we're gonna do that. Put a nice little bend on there. There's his hat. Bend on there. The branches, we'll make those a little bit thick. And that's that bit, so yeah, that will fit on there, that will fit on there. Right, uh, let's go and cut them out, see what happens, shall we? Well, hello, we're, we're back again, as you said when I last left you, we, we had our snowman and our snowman base, and we put them onto wood and then we're going to cut them out, so this is the snowman there. And this is the, the base that we're going to use for the snowman. And as you can see, he's going to sit on there and he's just going to rock uh, to and fro, hopefully, just like that. Uh, so now we've got to work out how we're going to put him into there, like that, so that he can rock to and fro. So we go away to the, uh, the bandsaw now, and we'll do that, shall we? See you in a minute. Hi, we're back again. Here we go. Uh, as you said, this is what we we started with, and we we cut out our top piece, and this is the bottom piece. And as you can see, what I've done is is is, is cut a, a groove in there, and the snowman will fit in there like that, hopefully, and he will rock to and fro. That is the uh, the idea. So now what I'm going to do is sand it all down and put a, a coat of undercoat on it, a coat of paint, and we'll just see what it looks like in white. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Right, uh, back again. We've just put a coat of white undercoat onto the whirly gig. We've we've done the base in white now, so we've got a nice white base. We've then got the part of the uh, snowman, which is there. And then we've got the snowman which goes on top, which is, there he is. And uh, 
not much to show on this video apart from the fact that I've got to put another coat of paint on it and then start doing the details. So I'm going to do another coat of white and then we will put the the details on it. But I, I think uh, that's not bad for a snowman, is it? Don't know. We'll see what it looks like when it's finished, won't we? Thank you. Come on then, up you come. Oh, oh. This is uh, my assistant who is helping me, aren't you today? Right, so we finally given uh, the snowman some uh, white paint, an undercoat and a gloss. There's the two pieces, the base, the actual snowman itself and the bed that it's going to work on. We've painted that white as well, so it's going to sort of stick there like that, like that, and then that's going to go in there like that and go up and down. So really all you've got to do now is decide what colours we're going to, going to paint, paint the snowman. And I think we keep the base white, shall we? Yeah. Then uh, let's just think. Now obviously, I'm just going to use the Sharpie, we'll do the uh, the branches in brown, I think, similar to that. Yeah, yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah, uh, we do those in brown, as you can see. Uh, we will. I think his hat would be quite nice in in black. So we sort of paint that in black. Give him a. Uh, shall we? Give it a red brim to it. That seems quite good, like that. Uh, and the scarf, I think we could possibly paint that sort of yellow, like that, so that'll go round like that. And colour it like that. See, so uh, that's beginning to take shape, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, you like it, don't you? And that's the most important thing, is the dog likes it. Uh, then obviously we're going to have to give him some eyes. So uh, no normally we you sort of put a bit of coal in for the eyes, don't you? So we'll just put a bit of eye in there like that. And then I haven't got an orange, but obviously they always have a sort of a carrot as a nose. So we can do, do that. And then... The sort of buttons going down like that, we would think, don't you? And then a button at the bottom. And he, he will sort of sit there. I think it'll look quite nice once he's all painted up. So sort of there'll be a, a button there. Yeah, there we go. So that's uh, that's what he's going to look like when he's done. And of course we do exactly the same on the other side. Well, I'm not sure what to do with this base bit here because obviously we want to carry on with sort of the round bit like that. So I I might just sort of put a bit of bit of green into there just to sort of make him look more like a a snowman, and uh, we could give him. I presume a couple of feet, couldn't we? So we could put one there like that, and one there like that, and paint that in black. Does that look better? Yeah, I think it does. Let's uh, just give him a bit of. It doesn't work very well trying to do this with with Buddy. There we go. That looks uh, that looks quite good, doesn't it? Anyway, so we're going to go away now back into the shed because we do paint it all in gloss, not indoors. So we're going to go and paint all that up now, and then we'll just see what it looks like uh, later. Well, here we are, back again. So the wife's listening, and every time I start a video, I say, "Here I am, back again." So here he is, snowman, painted up, all done. Did what we said, black head, red, all the thumbs made out of wood, both sides, so they look similar. Put him on a, uh, with the armature so he spins around. So I think really it hasn't turned out too bad really for, for my first attempt. 
and a snowman. What we're going to do, we, uh, there's no wind at the moment, but I will go and put him up on outside. Okay. Hopefully there's a bit of wind blowing and then we can actually show him show him working. I'm going to put maybe, I think, a blue propeller on him. Uh, as you know, we make these all propellers in-house. There we go. And there he is. One. What I have decided to do recently is the, uh, the arm. Here, I used to do them straight, which gave you no adjustment, so you had to make sure you cut it right. But actually, by putting this bend in it, it means that when, if you want to adjust it, if, if it's quarter inch too long or quarter inch too, too short, that it doesn't go up and down, all you have to do is just slightly bend this and, and you can actually correct it. So if you want him more to the left or more to the right, then you, you, you bend that. And so I, I, I found that uh, better. But uh, there it goes all right, doesn't it? We put little bobbles on his feet. So that's the snowman. If you well, thank you very much for watching the uh, video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by uh, obviously sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel. But even more, I'd appreciate it more if you'd love to buy me a cup of tea so I can dunk my biscuits into. It would be greatly appreciated. Follow the link in the description. Thank you.